So you want me to tell you how to glow up, huh? What makes you think I know what I'm doing? Well, as a former super skinny slash super shy kid on the verge of anorexia, terrified of going to school, terrified of going to the gym, terrified of going to any social event because of people, scared of having any conversation with people because I knew that I was awkward and I didn't want to be in awkward situations, to now having a level of confidence that I wish I would have had back in high school, now no longer terrified of any of these things. A lot of that had to do with my lack of self-esteem and my glow up. But before I even get into the video, be sure to like and subscribe so it can reach more people. Even comment something below if you want to. So with all that being said, here's how you glow up. So the first thing on how to glow up is to have a good skincare routine. Because when a person looks at you, the first thing that they see is your face. They want to see if you got a good face or not. I know it's wrong to judge a book by its cover, but the truth is, as humans, we all do it. We're all guilty of it. And we make assumptions about a person before we even meet them. Just by looking at them, we just make assumptions about them that may or may not be true. And as humans with first impressions, they can really make or break a situation or a certain relationship. So if a person has nice, clear skin, free of acne, with good hygiene, it'll get other people to want to get to know them more than another person who doesn't have good hygiene, who doesn't take care of their skin and lets their acne run rampant on their face. Because as humans we judge and with that judgment call, we're just gonna assume that that person is kind of gross. That'll probably cause a person to not want to get to know you and if say if there's a girl you like and if she makes the judgment call that you're kind of gross and that's her first impression of you then and she'll probably just think that all the time about you. And also with guys it doesn't really matter. We're guys, we don't really care as much about this stuff as girls, but with girls, especially in the dating realm, they notice these things a lot more and they pay attention to it more. Be sure to keep up with your skin, wash your face every day, preferably twice a day, you'll be good. So the next one is a pretty big one that might not seem so big initially, but it kinda is, and that is cologne, or cologne as I say sometimes, because English is weird and there's a random G in there for some reason. It's silent, but it's in there. If you try to spell it by sounding it out, you're never gonna get it. So, uh, cologne. When a man smells good, it automatically boosts you up a few notches on the scale when women rate you or vet you. Think about it, how many times has somebody passed by you at the mall or at school or somewhere and you get a whiff of their cologne or perfume as they pass it by and you're like, oh dang, they smell good. I always thought that whenever somebody passed by me that smelled real good, but I don't know why it never came to me that I should invest in my own cologne for myself, only until recently. And you will get compliments when you wear cologne, if you don't spray too much that is, because sometimes it could be too strong and people will just get annoyed by it. <laughs> but if you smell like you haven't showered in days, nobody's gonna tell you directly, it's just gonna be an awkward situation and an elephant in the room that you might be the only one that is unaware of it. And nobody wants to be around a person that's smells bad so even if you haven't showered that day just spray some cologne on you and you'll be good and like I said initially it might not seem so big but it can really make or break a situation so if you're a guy and you dress good already you got a nice haircut good skin but you don't have cologne I encourage you to get cologne because because like I said earlier if you're already an attractive guy it'll boost you up even higher because you smell good. And women love a man that smells good rather than smelling like nothing or just laundry detergent. <laughs> All right, so next thing is your hair. Keep up with your hair. If you go to the barber annually, be sure to keep up with those appointments over there. If you get a fade, be sure to keep up with your taper fade, mid fade, low fade, anything like that. Be sure to keep up with it because it only takes a few days for your hair to grow out from that and then it starts to look a little, a little messy and not so clean anymore. If you had um, mid-length hair or long hair be sure to style it use products it's same for short hair too I guess be sure to style it and use products as well use shampoo and conditioner obviously to keep your hair looking nice strong and healthy because honestly I've seen a lot of guys somewhere like at the mall or anywhere in public I know some guys are just one haircut away from really completing their look because a lot of guys just seem to abandon their hair they don't really care about it like I said earlier Guys don't really care about these things as much as girls do because they're a little bit more high maintenance. But some guys are just one haircut away or one beard trim away from really completing their look. You just gotta put in the little effort and then it'll really boost you up. Don't forget about your hair. Find a certain hairstyle that matches your face. Make sure you like it as well. You'll be good. And this next one is kind of a little one but majority of guys do not do this at all. 
and that is maintain your eyebrows. Keep up with your eyebrows. Don't let them go all crazy. It's easy to forget about the eyebrows, especially as a guy, but you gotta keep up and maintain the eyebrows too. Wax them or tweeze them, however you get rid of those extra hairs that you don't need. Whatever it is, just do something about it. And if you have some hairs in between your eyebrows and you have a unibrow, I'm telling you right now, get rid of that thing. I have this little tiny trimmer thing. It only takes two seconds, just bzzz and it's gone. It'll make a huge difference, I promise. And once again, this is just a minor thing that a lot of guys don't care about at all, but the women do pay attention to these things and they take notice of it. And trust me, you will get compliments from women if you wax or tweeze your eyebrows to a defined shape. And I never used to before, but now that I started keeping up with my eyebrows, I get compliments from time to time on my eyebrows because I maintain them and I don't let the hairs run rampant up there. And if you're a guy and you've never gotten your eyebrows waxed before, don't be surprised if your boys come at you and and say, oh, only girls get their eyebrows waxed. What are you, a little girl now? That's probably gonna happen, just don't pay that any mind. So this next one is a beard. If you can grow a beard, grow it out a little bit. It'll make you look more masculine rather than a little pre-teenage boy. And notice how I said grow it out a little bit because we don't want these big Doug Dynasty beards that go all the way down to your stomach. <laughs> Keep it trimmed. And also a lot of people might know this already, but you can actually enhance the look of your jawline by trimming and shaping your beard. So even if you don't have a good jawline, grow out your beard a little bit, shape it with your hair, and boom, it'll look sharper than it did before. Probably sharper than mine too, because if I can grow a beard, I would do that. I would have a little bit of stubble, keep it nice and trimmed, shape it along the jawline, but I can't get a beard, so I have to shave basically every day. Next one, teeth. No one wants yellow teeth. Nobody wants to kiss anybody with yellow teeth either. <laughs> Cause if you got yellow teeth, most likely you're gonna have bad breath because you don't brush your teeth. I feel like a dentist right now, but be sure to brush your teeth twice a day. Floss too, because if you don't floss, all that plaque is gonna build up in your teeth and then it's gonna hurt when you go back to the dentist and they're trying to get all that out. And some of these dentists have no mercy and it hurts. Also, if your teeth are crooked and you've always dreaded getting braces, I would still encourage you to get braces. I might be wrong on this, but I remember when I got my braces, I was looking up a bunch of videos about this and the guy said that your teeth don't actually just stay crooked as they are. They actually get more and more crooked through the years of your life. So would you rather have no braces and your teeth just get more and more crooked or have braces for a few years in your life and have them be straight for the rest of your life? So if your teeth are kind of crooked and you're thinking of getting braces but you don't really want to because you don't want to feel insecure and all this stuff, just get them. It's so worth it. When I had my braces, I had them on for two years and I had put it off for so long and I finally got them in my senior year of high school. So <laughs> I took my senior pictures with braces in my teeth. I was a little insecure about it, but when I had my braces on, I slowly noticed every day how gradual my teeth were becoming more straight and it made me feel good. And I knew that it was only gonna be on for a limited time. So, so having braces feels like it's all bad, but it's really not. It's just uncomfortable in the beginning, but your teeth get more straight as the time goes. And once you have them off, it feels so good. Get braces if you're thinking about it. You won't regret it in the end. Next one, dry lips. No one likes dry, chapped lips. No one wants to kiss dry, crusty lips either. And I used to have a problem with chapped lips all the time too, until I started adding this CeraVe healing ointment. No, this is not a sponsor, but if you want to do it, then we can do it. So I just added that product in my night routine. After I washed my face, I just applied that to my lips. And what do you know? I've never had dry chapped lips ever since. And that's thanks to my twin brother because he's the one who brought me to that. And he got it from Dr. Dre. No, not the rapper. Appreciate you, little man. Thank you for sharing that with me. And the last and final tip to glow up is to work out. Get in the gym. <laughs> Get a gym membership. And if you don't want to buy a gym membership, get some gym equipment, get some dumbbells, get some barbells, a bench press or something, anything that'll get you to exercise and have a productive workout. And when it comes to either buying equipment for your home or just buying a membership, I would prefer and advise just to get the gym membership because yeah, it's a monthly subscription, but if you work out seriously five times a week and there's about three weeks in a month, that's 15 workout sessions for let's say 20 bucks a month, 25 a month if you go to planet fitness it's even cheaper than that so that's really worth it especially considering that they have all the equipment in there rather than buying your own equipment you'll be limited to what you only have if you're going to work out a lot then just get the gym membership if you're only going to go to the gym about once or twice a month and you have a monthly gym subscription then that's when it's kind of just throwing money out the window so as we all probably heard before working out 
in general boost your confidence level tremendously. And also a lot of people don't work out. Take a look around at your school or maybe at your job. You take a look around amongst your peers and you'll notice that a lot of them don't work out. So once you start working out, you'll automatically be ahead and you'll stand out from everyone else. And with all these tips that I gave, for me at least, I think that working out is the most important one. And it's also, I think, the best place to start because when you build your body, you build this confidence in yourself. And when you build this confidence in yourself, It'll have this ripple effect to have confidence in other areas in your life and progress in other areas in your life. And that's why I think that working out is the most important one and why I save the best for last. All right, so that was all the tips regarding the how to glow up video. And now it's time for the annual Bible verse of the day. All right, so just like in my previous video, we are in the book of Proverbs and we are gonna look at 13.4. The soul of a lazy man desires and has nothing but the soul of the diligent shall be made rich. Get up off your lazy bum and get to work. You can't just sit there and manifest with no action and nothing's gonna come out of that. I see that word being tossed around all the time. You know, I'm, I'm manifesting this, this mansion right here. I'm manifesting this Ferrari. But if you're gonna manifest with zero work, zero action, zero initiative, then the Ferrari or the house isn't gonna magically appear under your name. That's not how things work and that's not how things will ever work. The things that you want don't just magically come into your possession just because you want them. I mean, unless you're born in the Kardashians or something. <laughs> Other than that, you gotta work for what you want and you reap what you sow and if you sow hard work, you sow being diligent, you will reap the benefits of that, reap the benefits of hard work. But if you sow laziness, then you will reap the benefits, I shouldn't even say benefits, you will reap what comes out of laziness, what comes out of no progress so continue to work on yourself continue to improve yourself because there's always room for improvement and with all that being said i'm just gonna end the video right here once again if you like me you think i'm pretty cool be sure to like and subscribe comment down below if you want to as well and i'll see y'all in the next one